Hello, Great Eagle here from Florida. This one's called Big Time TV Preachers. Strangely silent. This is Great Eagle. Why are almost all of the big haired televangelists not talking about the strange phenomenon going on in America and the world today? Many, if not most of them, claim to have a word of knowledge from the Lord about the many ailments of their viewers. So they cannot possibly be ignorant of these various issues. They are plastered all over the various media. What strange uh, phenomenon am I talking about? I'm glad you asked. Well, there was forest fires uh, recently all over the country. Not a word from the te televangelist. The collapse of the dollar. The uh, drought in the southeast that could ultimately lead to a famine. 2004, there were uh, four hurricanes that struck Florida. And Katrina and New Orleans and uh, a bunch of issues with that, uh, with, which included nursing home folks were uh, left behind the evacuations during the evacuations and died. They didn't get evacuated because they had no way to get them out. So they drowned. And there was also uh, patients in a New Orleans hospital found dead after the uh, after Katrina. Why was not one single word of this said about the many big-haired televangelists? Greensburg, Kansas wiped off the map. Never mentioned by these people. Matter of fact, the tornadoes were so widespread in 2007, they hit Kansas, Oklahoma, and all the way down into Mexico. And your favorite TV preacher said, nada. The foreclosure crisis also has never been mentioned by these people and all the unemployment. Nor has any televangelist, televangelist with his neatly manicured fingernails even dared to mention all the job losses due to outsourcing and the illegal aliens. Also not a word of this said by the self-appointed Christian leaders on the many recalls of Chinese food and toys harming our children. These so-called Christian leaders have also said nothing about all the plagues that we face today. SARS, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus, uh, MRSA, mousepox, West Nile virus, Ebola, Kreutzfeldt-Jakob's disease, CJD, and uh, of course bird flu. No televangelist worth his five million dollar house has discussed the serious threat of government surveillance on the people. Finally, and the most important of all, not a single TV preacher has uttered a solitary word about the mark of the beast currently being used on animals. Obviously, it will eventually uh, come to uh, being uh, put in people. Because of these and many other reasons, I call into question the credibility of these people. I think I have enough uh, uh, information here to get my point across. The televangelists put themselves out as men and women of God, but do not address these very, very serious issues the average Christian faces today. I posit a few possible reasons for uh, for this. Number one, they do not ever discuss things of a negative nature. This comes from the Think and Grow Rich crowd of Napoleon Hill as popularized by the hit TV allegedly Christian, quote, unquote, program of Robert Schuller. He would want me to mention the name of the program here. My thoughts on the positive thinking crowd are this. The positive must be tempered with the negative to achieve balance. Number two, the media demonizes Christians that talk about the apocalypse, the end of the world, the book of Revelation. We're all called doomsayers and doom and gloomers and made to look like fools in need of institutionalization. Maybe these TV preachers want to distance themselves from that portion of the scriptures so they are not put into this classification. Number three, the Rolex wearing televangelists are afraid of this afraid that this message will not go over well with their congregations and this will cause do donations to fall off after all their main message is that if you give me the televangelist a hundred dollars first God will give you back a hundred million for the health and wealth and prosperity gospel is the only thing they know how to preach they just don't know how to address these tough issues nevertheless the scripture deals with this issue thusly Isaiah 30:10, which say to the seers, See not, and to the prophets, prophesy unto, prophesy not unto us right things. 
speak unto us smooth things and prophesy deceits. I can't I can't bring myself to do that. I, I just can't. Jeremiah five five thirty one the prophesy, prophets prophesy falsely, the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? Translation into modern English Lies equals smooth things, but the truth is rough. Will these don't worry, be happy preachers still be preaching this nonsense as their television ministries are destroyed in these end times? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, you must ask yourself, do I want the smooth things of the health, wealth, and prosperity gospel preachers on TV? Or do I want the truth? You must decide. That's it for uh, Big Time TV Preachers, Strangely Silent by Gray Eagle. Now one last thing I want you to do is trust Jesus, for the Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can get more details by going to my website, and that's uh, ourchurch.com slash member slash A slash AHS. On that front page there you'll see um, many Old Testament uh, prophesies that prophesied, prophesied Jesus. And right underneath of it, the New Testament fulfillment of that particular prophecy. Till next week, keep on trucking for the Lord. Gray Eagle out.